Hi, in this video we're going to show you about our 4K60 video processor with the uh, semi switching and preview functions. So here we have the setup. Basically right now we can see the uh, 4K60 video controller, the back panel. So on the back panel right now we can see we actually have like the uh, input card. So right now we have the 4K input card, which is actually with uh, one input card with four ports, but one is the 4K HDMI ODP and another one is the uh, HDMI ODP. And another card is the uh, 1080p, so one card with four ports. And on this side, we have the output card. Output card, we have like the 4K 60 output card as well. And then we have the 1080p output card. 1080p will be have like four output ports. Uh, for the uh, 4K 60 output card, it will be like only uh, two ports. Either we use the 4K HDMI or we use the DP. And then on the side, we have the country. And right now we're using the TCP IP country, which is connected to my PC over here. So on my PC right now, we can see this the uh, software and then we can check it out. Right now we can like uh, get the resolution of the display or the improved EDID settings. And this for the display, like right now if you wanna make a, a video wall, uh, two by two, and so we already have it two by two here. But also can have like different groups. Right, this one is the group one, and which is for this TV here. And then we have the group two, which is a two by two, which is this two by two video here. So now I'm just going to do the switching and then we can check out how the uh, switching works. I'm going to zoom the camera a little bit. And right now we have uh, three inputs, if we can check out. So we have like two 4K60 and one is the 1080p. And now we're going to do the uh, changes right now from the under here now, right now on the 2x2 two two, we have like four windows and uh, we have like cross screen and overlap right if you want to clear all the windows and we can just select the 4k source drag and drop then we can open a window also we can just select the source and drag to this one and for the switchings right you can switch the seamless switching and on this card, and we can check out on the card, also we have like the status. This input card is with the source connected and it will have the green dot here. If the card are not connected, then we just use the red dot. So this one is basically for the, uh, we can recognize like which port is connected. We also can just rename them as the input as a uh, different name as well. Make it as a full screen. So we switch back to the player Right, it can switch the seamless switching. Before we actually already received like some presets and we can just record the presets as well. So I can record the presets. This one is the uh, full screen. And we have the eight windows. On each video wall, we can open up to eight windows, either on like uh, one screen or we can just open on the uh, video wall group. And for the 4K source, we can open up two windows on the video wall. And then this one is uh, mixing with the uh, 4K 1080p, and we can open four windows. Okay, so this is the presets. So on the presets, we also can have like the uh, recycling either by the time, or we can just reset, uh, have these sinus recall by the time settings. Okay, so we have like two different ways to recall the sinus, recycling the sinus. If I can this uh, the group one, and we can just select the group one, and then we can go to the windows. So right now we can do the controls. Drag and switch to a different source. Right, switch to the camera and switch back to the player. Switch back to the another source. Besides, and also this video processor can have the audio path through. Like right now, we actually have the HDMI cable, which is connected to this display. But this display didn't have the audio. So we have an audio speaker here. And we can hear the sound is coming out, right? Okay, so this is the uh, 4K60 video processor 
We, we also can preview like the input source. We can just choose the preview button here. Then we can see we have like uh, these two inputs. And uh, on the input slot 6, then we have the input 4 which is connected. Okay. So basically, this is the video processor. It can support the 4K60 input and 4K60 output. You can check out on the resolution of display so we can see the input res output resolution is uh, 4K60 Hz. Okay. Now I'm just going to try to open like some windows here, select the camera. So we got one window. Open another one. Can be like the eight windows can be the same uh, source or can be the different source. So we open four windows from the camera. Just go with another one. And now we already have like uh, six. And yeah, we'll choose the first focus source, open window here. Right, right now we actually already have like uh, C. Okay, this source is actually a focus 60. So we can just go with the 10 dB. Can keep open to more windows. Right, so totally we can open up to a windows on each video group. We can have this one save as uh, presets. A window. We can just go to the centers, then we can record the presets as well. Let's see a full screen. When we record the presets and even like we can see the presets recording is seamless like no the black or blue screen during the preset recording. Go to the video group 2. We can check out on this one as well. Right. Preset 2, preset 3, preset 4. Okay, so basically uh, this 4K60 video processor we can support like the preview of this input source. But also we can just do like the screen test and also uh, read the information of the input or the output status and also the uh, centers recycling either by the online time or by the timer Okay Thank you